there is a world of, of angels in a department of angels that deals specifically with money. They are a part of the provisional equation for your life. They are a part of you inheriting the fullness of God's will towards you in finances. And saints, I'm going to tell you like this here. When I started praying in the spirit and having visions about the minister of finances, encounters with the minister of finances, which is actually a male angel, not a female angel, a male angel that is responsible for the economic demonstration of the Lord on earth and in heaven. And I had these encounters. It really took my soul to the next degree of functionality and finances. Because when you understand what is backing you, it's easier for you to step out. You got to know what's backing you. You have to know what you're doing. You have to have a blessed assurance. So there's angels that have the specific job to increase you in money. That's, that's their only job. Their job is not to heal your body. Their job is not to talk to you about marriage. That's not their job. Their job is to increase you in finances and let you see the financial glory of the spirit. The Holy Ghost is on the earth right now. He is fully God. This is the spirit of the Lord on the earth. It's the Lord on the earth through his technology, his spirit. It's fully him. The person of the Holy Ghost is God on the earth, fully. Every ability of God, every thought of God, every way of God, every harvest of God, every ability, every privilege, favor, impartation of God. So the Holy Spirit is looking for people that he could reveal this side of himself to. Not only will he challenge you to sow seeds, but he is going to be the one enhancing you in money so that you can be richer and richer and richer and richer because he going to want to keep on experiencing deeper dimensions of you honoring him and sowing into him and obeying his voice with the money. God gets a thrill in making somebody rich because you have more to do obedience to the more that he'll demand. So when money cometh happens in your life, due season happens in your life, you never put your trust in that money. That money should not be held as a safety for you. You shouldn't put your safety in the money, never. Never look at the money you have when money come and start fully ministering to you the way that the Lord wants it to minister to you, don't pit your trust in that money. When you see the $100 bill, when you see the $20 bill, when you see the $50 bill, when you see the $5 bill, the $10 bill, the $1 bill, don't look at that money as if it is now your confirmation that everything going to be all right. Because that money is not your confirmation. You have one confirmation, and that's Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's Christ in you. Cash is not greater than Christ. Christ is greater than cash. Cash is not greater than Christ. Christ is greater than cash. Don't ever pit 
them both in the same bracket. Don't ever start worshiping cash like you're worshiping Christ. Because they'll birth a crisis. And saints, you don't ever want God to demote you when the money cometh mantle is strong on you. You want him to trust you and keep on using you. You don't want him to demote you. Because when, when God demotes somebody and the money cometh anointing, it's because they exalted the cash above Christ. Now that became their, their, their avenue of attention. Saints, when God places money cometh on you, you're going to know when your heart is in the right place. When money cometh start manifesting, you're going to know when your heart is in the right place because you'll forget how much money you got. You'll forget that you have money sometimes. Sometimes you'll be inside of a store and somebody will tell you your total balance is da 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 and you're like, oh, oh. And then you got to remember, oh, I can pay for this now. Because see, you, you wasn't even thinking about the money. You're thinking about Christ. Christ don't want to share the time in your mind with cash. He want your undivided attention, undivided attention all the time. So remember that. When money cometh happens in your life, don't stop praying and fasting and seeking the Lord and denying yourself and disconnecting from people. Don't get lazy and lukewarm. Don't stop exercising your body. Don't stop um, treating yourself correctly, eating right and drinking right. Don't defile your temple uh, with too much sugar and too much salt. Saints, I like gummy bears because that's just the that's just the child likeness in me. I like gummy bears. I like stuff like that. But I don't. I, don't, I haven't ate chocolate in like years, kind of in a sense. I, I had chocolate here and then because sometimes the partners would buy it for me. But like I haven't bought chocolate myself like in a long time and stuff like that. And like different type of stuff people eat, I don't eat. Like I don't be eating hot spicy stuff like that. But there's times where I would eat some hot Cheetos. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's time I might get some hot cheetah puff. Bless God. It's every now and again I might get me some sour gummy worm. Now I don't buy it, but somebody might buy it for me. And do you know that I eat something because I want them to get the blessing? You give a cup of cold water. Anything that you do unto Christ is counted forever. So sometimes if somebody buys me something and I'll, 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 I'll eat two bites of it just so that they can get a reward. One time, one of my daughters was going through a tough situation financially and she bought me some type of food. I only took two bites of the food and she came out. That's all. I just took two bites. I, I didn't want the whole thing. I didn't even want the thing. But I took two bites so that I could link myself to her sacrifice. So I could link myself to her sacrifice. I didn't want what she bought me. But because it came from her and she needed a miracle, I just took two bites. So that it could be knitted in the spirit world that I came into connection with her sacrifice and she came out of her situation. That happens a lot, by the way. There's times if somebody buys me a shirt. Now, says I got too, too much stuff, you know, I'm not, I'm not. I don't have space for nothing. But if somebody buys me a shirt, if I don't wear the shirt on the line, I'll put the shirt on when I'm going to sleep, or I'll put the shirt on after I take a shower, even if it's for five minutes, I'll put the shirt on so it could be on me. I'll put the shirt on, literally on my body, so so it could it 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 could be documented that I connected 
I came into agreement with their sacrifice. I'll put the shirt on. If I don't wear it for a long period of time, I'll put it on for probably a couple minutes or so. But I've 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 done I've done many different other things, and I, um just briefly I want to talk to you about the working of miracles because that's what seed sowing is as well. The working of miracles is where the spirit uses you and give you insight on how to make a miracle work. So saints, there have been people when they sow the seed to me, I'll slap the seed. There's people that have sowed a seed to me and I'll do something. I'll step on the seed. I'll step on the money they give me. And they'll come out their situation. Because it's the working of miracles. Somebody in the natural mind will look and say, why would you do it? Why are you, why, what are you doing? The working of miracles is an insight. It's a revelation that as I do this, I'm going to work the miracle into manifestation. I am working. So this is my job. I, my job assignment is to do something specific that has the DNA of what you desire in it. So I have movements. I have touches. I have insight and revelation and understanding of what I should work to build a miracle. I've spit on people's seed before. Yeah. And those people started making thousands of dollars within weeks. It's the working of miracles. The working of miracles is where the spirit of God gives you a strategy on what to work. Saints, I've had partners before. They are a big sower. And a partner is struggling to sow. I will pit their seed on that partner's seed. And then they'll start sowing like that partner that's sowing big and even bigger. Are you hearing me? I'm talking to you about the working of miracles through sowing and reaping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. The working of miracles in the seed took Abel into abundance while his brother Cain is looking at him like, nah, this should be me. Where, where my abundance at? But Abel is doing the working of miracles through sowing. His seed is working a miracle. His seed is working a miracle. He's taking the seed. He's planting it in the ground. It's the amount of seed that God wants. He's giving God what he wants. And when he sows it, it's coming back as miracle provision. Abel is just working miracles through sowing and reaping. The same thing with Isaac. The land is in a famine. But he's working a miracle with his sowing. And the Bible says he reaping the same year. And then the people, the Philistines want him to leave because they don't got no money. They don't got no provision. So where did he get his from? The miracle was in the work of sowing. Saints, that's why Satan don't want you to get back into sowing because it works miracles. How? Well, thank God, heal your body. Because you so money? Oh, I don't believe that God will heal you just because you so some money. <laughs> it 
Mr. Chattacucci always want to argue. Mr. Doubtfire always want to pit doubt on your fire. And the seed is working miracles as you sow it. So Satan has people set up to convince you not to sow. Satan has people that will mock your sowing. They are filled with the spirit of Satan if they find out that you're sowing. Saints, I told you how when I was sowing, how even Satan would fill the post office people. They'll try to mock you, laugh at you, try to discourage you not to sow the seed. And that's not even their job. They see you keep bringing the seed to the post office. So now they want to discourage you. That's not even their job. My grass, to bolo bol silly